So Tropical Storm Hillary hit Baja, California last week, and it's a disturbing trend that we're seeing around the country and around the world with different climate change related events, what we're going to talk about here today on the left wing. My name is Desmond Price of the Independent Thought Podcast, I'm joined by my co-host, Dr. Erica from Cocktails and Capitalism, uh, TJ Whitehead from Power is Taken, Not Given, my other co-host, and our guest for this week, CJ from Vanguardian. So... Hurricane Hillary was, well, it was Hurricane Hillary. It was a category four hurricane when it was still in the ocean. But when it landed in California, it was, in fact, a tropical storm. It had record-breaking rain rainfall in Southern California. It caused uh, flooding, mudslides, rock slides, and even a 5.1 magnitude earthquake. It was the first tropical storm to hit California in 84 years. And this is more or less just another in a long list of converging major, like, extreme weather events happening around the country, around the world. We have seen, obviously, we talked about last week, the deadliest fire in U.S. in the U.S. in the last 100 years in Hawaii. We're also seeing currently 40,000 acres burning on the border of California and Oregon. This is also on the backs of Phoenix having 31 straight days, which was a record for them of 110 degree weather. We are also seeing more than a thousand fires burning in the worst fire season on record for Canada. And this is affecting people globally. We're seeing a poll that was done by UNICEF. And, and usually polls have maybe like, you know, a thousand, two thousand people at most. They took a poll of over 240,000 people who said that they are considering not having children because of the climate crisis. 240,000 people were saying this. Now, this is also coming a week after the Biden Department of Justice had leaked that they are saying that there is no stable right to a to a, well, there's no right to a stable climate whatsoever. And Joe Biden said when he had his final debate with Bernie Sanders that there would be no more drilling on federal land once he became president. We're going to play that video for you right now. Number one, no more subsidies for fossil fuel industry, no more drilling on federal lands, no more drilling, including offshore, no ability for the oil industry to continue to drill, period, ends. However, we do see that federal data shows that the Biden administration has approved 6,430 permits for oil and gas drilling on public lands in the first two years, outpacing the Trump administration's in his first two years. So this is the question I, I want to bring about everything that we're seeing in relation to climate. Can we trust Joe Biden to address the climate crisis? I, I really, I feel like we need to be putting some real pressure on this person. So CJ, I, I know that climate change is a really big issue for you particularly. Uh, can, can you just let me know what you're thinking about this? Do you think Joe Biden can be trusted to address this problem? Uh, I wouldn't trust Joe Biden to watch a Tamagotchi for the weekend because <laughs> it, it's something for me because this was the first presidential election that I was able to vote in. So this is the first president that I helped vote into office. And then, like you said, uh, he positioned himself as this climate leader. And we're seeing that that was all talk. Um, I find it really difficult to trust either political party uh, or most candidates in that party uh, because Fossil fuel lobbying is such an issue. Uh, the majority of politicians in Congress across both political parties have been bought and paid for by the fossil fuel industry. Um, I think last year, the fossil fuel industry spent like over $130 million on lobbying alone, which seems like a large amount. But what they're actually paying for is the freedom to continue uh, expanding their drilling operations to continue not only maintaining what they have already, but starting new oil uh, wells and, and, and coal mining operations. Um, they're using that money to sabotage clean energy development uh, and climate action. Um, and again, I, I think it's hard to say that this is like just a Republican issue because the candidate that they've been spending the most money on recently is Joe Manchin, who's a Democrat. Um, and again, they've gotten a huge return on investment because he's been able to block all of these climate bills that have been championed by the rest of the Democratic Party. Um, so yeah, I think that that in addition to, if you just think of all the subsidies that the United States government is paying to the fossil fuel industry, uh, billions of dollars that they're getting on top of making already record profits, um, it's hard to believe that what's going to take them down is going to be an individual politician, even if he happens to be the president of the United States and says that he cares about climate change. Yeah, I mean, I think you're totally right about that. I think like we shouldn't be looking to an individual um, 
leader to do that. I I think, you know, I really, really advocate for folks to, and I still do advocate for folks to vote, to use their power within the existing political system that we have. Um, but goddamn, does it make it hard to tell people that voting Democrat is better than voting Republican when when a Democratic president who promises to be the greenest president ever is approving more permits for fossil fuel uh, projects on federal land than Trump. That is, it's so hard for me to turn to people, to other leftists and say, yes, this is the right thing to do. And it's, it's, it like hurts me inside to be in that position because yeah. I don't want people to turn away and not use their power and not use their voice and let the folks on the right consolidate their power further. I really, really don't want to see that happen because we fucking know that they're not going to do anything good for the climate. We know that they're going to do the worst things <laughs> and, uh, you know, perpetuate climate change denial. Um, so, yeah, it, this is this puts us in a bad position <laughs> as leftists. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, go ahead, TJ. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, yeah, I, I wish I had uh, more uplifting things to say, but I think I've said it on the show before that climate change is one of those issues where I just feel like Thanos has won. I mean, half the population will be destroyed and there's nothing we can do about it. I, I wish. Oh, don't I go wish, there. I mean, I'm just saying I wish I wish there was more. But the fact that we we have time to try to work on economic issues, we have time to work on social issues. I don't see a lot of bright opportunities to fix the climate issue because it's such an expansive, uh, uh, an expansive uh, topic, and and the power that's gonna that's entrenched in the fossil fuels is not going anywhere, not anytime soon. We can try to invest in green energy and try to you know chip away at it, but we've hit the point of no return like five times since you know the, the last ten years, and. It's just sad. It is just a sad topic for me. I wish I, I feel a lot like Erica, that uh, Dr. Erica, that uh, it's hard to convince people. Oh, yeah, we got to make this action. This action when, you know, hey, we got our guy in there, supposedly our guy, and he's doing more damage. And yeah, sorry, uh, Desmond, go ahead. <laughs> it's yeah, I, I want to speak to the Joe Manchin piece here uh, uh, primarily. Well, not primarily, but just first. And we, we are going to do longer talks on Joe Manchin as we're going to have our friend Chuck from Apod Lecha come back on and, and kind of talk about this more with us. But he particularly sits on the, he's the chair of the committee in the Senate that approves all energy projects. He's the chair. So like he literally gets to decide what is and what isn't done in the Senate when it comes to any energy policy. And this is a guy who owns coal operations in West Virginia. It, it like you couldn't create a better kind of like caricature of Washington DC if you tried yeah. when it comes to someone like <laughs> Joe Manchin. But you know what, you, you're right, CJ. When you think about like looking at the Democratic Party and the Republican Party, yeah, on this issue, there really isn't that much of a difference other than what the talking points are. As far as the execution, as far as yeah. what is passed, it's just not done. And, and I think it's only going to get it worse. I was seeing reports recently that, you know, for those who don't know, Saudi Arabia and Russia are the two other biggest producers of oil in the world. And they are now combining forces to essentially restrict the market to drive prices up, which is actually going to, in fact, drive gas prices up here in America, to which inevitably we'll just start beating the drums for what we saw last night with Vivek Ramaswamy saying, frack, drill, burn coal. Like that, Wasn't that like the three things he said right when he started talking about this conversation? Yeah, so this is going to get worse. But, you know, the answer isn't as simple as like, you know, building you know, new wind farms and building new solar plants, because, you know, as other people have pointed out, the real problem with our issue with climate change, just essentially not, well, not with climate change, but with trying to do anything climate related and actions concerned, we don't have the right grid. We have to redo the entire grid here in America, and that's what's not being done. So as I'm seeing groups like Climate Defiance going around and protesting in America, I don't think that people have given up on this issue, but I think we need to kind of reframe how we discuss this issue because if it is going to change it's going to have to be tar targeting specifically what is wrong with why we haven't been able to get to where we need to get to right away and one of those reasons is because even if you have these new plants 
you know, our current existing infrastructure can't handle the green energy kind of like influx that would come in.